y'all happy friday today's friday yes um we haven't been doing anything for most of the day um it's been a really chill day because i did everything yesterday so yesterday i didn't feel like vlogging so i did not vlog however i did get a lot done around the house so y'all know thursdays are like my fridays and so i got a lot of household things done my work day was kind of it was very productive but it was slow so there's that but i had to um of course work but i had to go to the grocery store yesterday because i was like with it being the Labor Day weekend, I'm not even going to attempt to be with the crowd. Y'all know how I feel about a crowd. So I worked, cleaned the house, like deep cleaned the house, bathrooms, steam mopped the floors, um, did the boys room. The only thing I wanna do probably, if I don't get to it this weekend, I'll do it next weekend, but I wanna go through all of their stuff and like get fall going and in order um i've purchased a few things for them like clothing wise but nothing really major so i may do that um either if i don't do it this weekend because i got a lot going on i will do it next weekend but just kind of like go through i've purged their closets a little bit but i want to do another perch of their closets so yeah got that on my list this weekend is going to be slow it is um labor day weekend but we don't have really much planned like i said yesterday i went to the grocery store i did get stuff that we could like throw on the grill y'all know clarence loves the grill at any given point or holiday so i did pick up um like spare ribs and chicken sides stuff like that and then of course the stuff that we're gonna need for throughout the week this is kaden's third week of school everything has still been really really successful Successful, which has been great um he's signed up for his uh first two activities that he wants to be doing like extracurricularly so that's been good but yeah today's just been a chill day y'all like i regrouped like i said i made sure to do everything yesterday the only thing i have not done <laughs> you want to say hi yeah hi. all right come on oh hi only thing i have not done is this boy's hair <laughs> so i am going to get to it at some point um i did like wash and deep condition my own and blow it out i did not have a well i had a hair appointment scheduled but this month i've been like bumping up my little cardio and the sweat girl throughout this head is not a game so because of that i'm like you know what I, I, i'm gonna wash it deep condition it because that's all it can really take right now between all of the sweating it's just it's, it's not conducive with my life right now so the silk press is out i'm gonna figure something else out right now i'm just washing it deep conditioning it blowing it out and keeping it hydrated so and in like a low bun so i the only thing that's left on my list i have a small amount of um, laundry that needs to be folded that's it and then i need to wash detangle wash condition and braid down kaden's not kaden what is my child's name y'all cam's hair so i'll get to it at some point i don't i don't know when it'll happen but it'll happen at some point over the course of this weekend but yeah my house is clean i'm about to light a candle um i was about to sit down and watch zatima because it started back um and i got a package so i've gotten a lot of packages from crate and barrel this week <laughs> because fall is right around the corner it is september today is september the first as a matter of fact um and there have just been some things that i don't know i've seen and wanted i specifically went on the website to find some throw pillows for the living room the we have two like smaller chairs so we have the sofa the love seat and then these two smaller chairs the pillows that are on those chairs i hate and so I wanted to order some more. So 
the rabbit hole that I went down that is Crate and Barrel started because I needed these pillows and then just kind of went from there. So I'm gonna share with y'all what has come in over the course. Literally today is Friday, stuff started coming in Monday. Um, and it's funny cause I ordered these first, but all these other things showed up well before these, but I ordered two throw pillows, like I said, for those um, chairs. They are, they are, I wanna say 12 by 18 or something like that, but they're uh, down feathers. To know me is to know that is my favorite. I do not like the faux cotton and all that, the faux down, the alternative, the memory. I don't like that in a pillow, not when it comes to my throw pillows. Now when I'm sleeping, that's different. And it's funny because Clarence has to have a down pillow and I do not. I can take like a synthetic fibered pillow over a down pillow, but whatever. Anyways, when it comes to like a throw pillow, it has to be down feathers for me. And so when I hopped on Crate and Barrel and saw, I Googled them and then these came up and they were $3.97. Y'all, if you know anything about any type of interior decor, honey, down feathers be expensive. So my other ones came from, I wanna say both sets I got from Ikea, if I'm not mistaken. So I felt like I couldn't go wrong three dollars and 97 cent can't beat it so they come honestly just like the ones from ikea do um and i've gotten the ones from ikea in store and online and they've always been great but i'm hoping these hold up pretty well they have that that factor that i'm looking for where if i need to do this you know it'll still hold its shape if you want to you know a down pillow just does it when it comes to shaping and molding it and making it look like you want on your sofa. So I'm um, actually, because I like this quality, I'm gonna hop on there and order another one before they go off sale because I would like to have one in the middle of the full length sofa as well. So got some throw pillows. I'm going to um, hop on Amazon and find like covers for them i'm very particular and so i didn't even want to chance it like i wanted to see what the quality was like and then these i'm actually gonna go the ones that are there now i got them off of amazon so i'm gonna go and see if they have that size and if they do i'm just gonna order them so they're all the same color because that's just what i like but the one in the center here i may make it like a different color we'll see it's fall is coming i just want to spruce it up around here a little bit all right next up i what is this y'all i got on there and i just i don't know i started ordering stuff it was it was bizarre. Not really, because to know me is to know. I will get on a website and get to order and stuff. So here it is. Oh, okay. This came Wednesday. And y'all, when I saw this, I had to have it. Y'all know I like to sit and watch my sisters, watch Zatima, watch my Real Housewives of Atlanta, my shows, you know what I mean? And eat my popcorn and drink a little vino. And I saw this popcorn bowl and I just had to have it, y'all. It's literally the perfect size for my popcorn. My little personal girl so i don't have to use the bowl like my regular you know dishware bowl i can use a little fancy popcorn bowl girl i had to have it it was seven dollars and 95 cents i think 8.95 something like that but i just had to have it i thought it was perfection so y'all know sisters if you don't know um the last episode of sisters was like two weeks ago and that was the mid-season finale girl did y'all see karen shoot fatima i think she's dreaming we're not gonna go there but it comes back in october so this is gonna be perfect for me to just sit and luxuriate in my new silk pajamas honey with a glass of speaking of glasses hold on y'all 
we have another package. <laughs> Glassware. So, y'all, I, this summer, I have really enjoyed rosé. I'm a red wine girl to know me. If you know me in real life, you know I enjoy a good red wine. I'm not a big, like, white wine girl. I like Cupcake Chardonnay. I like Chateau St. Michel's um, Sauvignon Blanc. When it comes to a Riesling, I haven't really found one that I'm amazed with. So, so white wines are like not my favorite. I I can tolerate them, but it's just not my thing. Same thing with like dark liquor. I don't like dark liquor if I have to drink liquor. I don't really like dark liquor, but whatever. But again, this dials back to when I'm luxuriating which is sitting down watching my shows the kids are down Clarence is minding his business and I can just do a face mask and you know take a hot steamy shower and luxuriate on my sofa when I do that I have realized as of recently it's probably because it's the summer I have just really enjoyed rosé now in my home I have these wine glasses. I have a set of four. These are red wine glasses. And then I, they're in the living room, but I have a pair of like champagne flutes. Those are more for like when we're doing mimosas on holiday mornings. They're a little too tapered for what I like. And these are too open for the rosé, in my opinion. Um, and then my other champagne flutes, because I do have two sets, um, are only strictly for special occasions. They're um, from Tiffany's and we got them for our 10 year anniversary. And so I just, we use them once a year to toast to our anniversary. I don't use those a lot. They're very fragile. If you've had any Tiffany stemware um, or just any of their fine home goods, very, very delicate. So I don't pull those out a lot. So I kept saying, I need just, you know, something to sip my rosé from. And so when I was looking for the popcorn bowl, somehow I navigated to stemware. And y'all, these are gorgeous. And found me the cutest pair of, I'm calling them rosé flutes because they're going to strictly be for my bubbly drinks and my rosé, but they're champagne flutes. And the beauty, I don't know if it says, the beauty in these, these are the Mira Champagne 13.5 ounce champagne flutes made in Italy. These were $4.97 a piece, y'all. And y'all know I love a bargain, y'all know I love a deal. So, yeah. Pick these up, I did get two. Oh, I must have wrapped this because I've already like opened them because girl, I had to see. But y'all tell me that these are not going to be so pretty while I'm sitting watching my shows, eating my popcorn and sipping on a little rosé. Girl, these are going to be so cute in my little TLC Creek pajamas, bitch. I'm going to listen self-care is the best care so I don't know I just saw these and as soon as I saw them I thought rosé these are perfect for my rosé and here's why the opening and the the bottom part is better than the other ones I have that are a little more tuliped when you're sipping on a little rosé you just want to dip some strawberries in there or a little watermelon chunk or two and pour your bubbly on top these are the perfect shape so I'm gonna clean these up perfect for my upcoming fall season i cannot wait as a matter of fact let me see what we're doing tonight i think we're gonna make phillies kaden said he wanted philly cheesesteak so we may make phillies for dinner and like luxuriate and i've got a bottle of rose over there i could put it on chill and i may use them tonight but yeah so i picked up some new champagne flutes i was super excited about those and then lastly, I picked up a new tea mug because in the fall and the winter, and y'all know tis the season is coming up, I like to have my tea and I guess for me, like I'm not like a 
fall decor. As you can see, I keep everything very, very neutral. I'm not like a fall mug, fall decor, Christmas cup, Christmas, you know. I just want something small and petite and perfect for tea. And this was like, I don't know. I think it was like a dollar and 97 cent. It was super inexpensive. Let me see. It was a dollar and 97 cent on final sale. Again, I just got on there and went down a rabbit hole of looking for stuff. So, got this as well for like my evening because I drink tea in the evening, especially with the upcoming season. It's about to get a little cooler. That's my thing. So, yeah, that's all I had, y'all. Like I said, we haven't been doing anything this Friday, um, but chilling. But because all this stuff had come in and like I said I was getting ready to lay down and as soon as I was about to lay on this sofa those pillows dropped at the front door um so I just thought I would share with you guys a quick crate and barrel haul very unintentional but last week I literally just went down a rabbit hole of like what they got on their website i will try to ensure to leave everything linked below for you guys i'm gonna put all this stuff up i've got my um shaved beef here because like i said we're gonna make fillies tonight and i will probably honestly check in with you guys tomorrow because i've got some errands that i need to run tomorrow this will probably be like a weekend vlog we'll probably vlog between now and sunday Walmart. I was gonna get flowers, but they didn't have any that I liked, so 
I'm just gonna get the rest of the stuff that's in my cart and then we're gonna head to the house. Cause I did get a couple things. So I'll share that with y'all when I get home. Hey y'all. So I just, today's Saturday. I just came back from Walmart. When I got home, my mini stepper was here. Um, and I just got off of it. Like I wanted to test it out, see if it worked. And it definitely does. Definitely get your heart rate going. Um, I felt like it was something I could just sit in front of the TV and use and like get a little exercise in while I'm watching my shows. Um, if you follow me on, well, not if you follow me on Instagram, but if you on Instagram in this beauty community capacity at all, you've probably heard of By Me Chanel. Um, I heard her mention it and did my research and I'm kind of like, I think I want one. So I ordered one like two days ago. I got it off Amazon. I'll leave it linked below for you guys. I'll show it to you as well. I'll try to insert it somewhere in this video. But um, yeah, I've been up since pretty early. Um, made breakfast this morning, had my coffee. I just finished drinking a Red Bull actually to like pump myself up. Kaden is getting ready to have a play date in about an hour and a half. So I'm just kind of getting situated because he uh, his friend's gonna come over here. They're gonna play for about two hours from four to six. I went to Walmart and I picked up some workout shirts, just some easy peasy like tanks but they're moisture wicking. I got them all in a size medium. Just something I can wear with leggings that's like super breathable. So I got a black one. I got a white one. They were all marked down from $9.98 to a dollar. So I got a black one, a white one, this gray camoed one, and this, um, like gray with black stripes you can't really see them they're like black stripes got four of them just for me again for me to do workouts in daily walks with cam stuff like that anytime i'm doing any cardio i just like something that's super breathable and this new stepper i feel like some leggings and these shirts will be perfect so i can try to like knock my workout i like to knock my workout in before kaden gets out of school because once he gets out of school my day is like busy from that point and so i don't really have much time and then i also just found these joggers for cam fall is coming so anytime i can find stuff for them um before it gets too cool outside to just kind of stock up for them i do these are just something um he can wear around the house but they were a dollar i couldn't believe it but yeah they were only a dollar so i picked these up i wish they had more colors in his size they did have more colors they just didn't have them in his size he's in a 3t um at the moment and all they had were like two t's and 12 and 18 months so I picked up a pair that I saw in his size. What else? I need to clean up from breakfast this morning. Um, I did a little bit, but I just didn't like completely clean the kitchen. So I'm probably gonna do that and just kind of like straighten up around the house um, until Caden's play date and lounge. Find something that I can watch. Clarence is back there sleep. Caden and Cam are in their room playing. Um, I think Caden is like cleaning his room a little bit. I just have my hair in this big old juicy bun <laughs> because I can't, like I said, I just can't do anything else with my hair. I was supposed to have a hair appointment yesterday. I had to cancel it. Um, yeah, so there we go. There's that. So hair is in a bun. I'm just in a graphic tee and some gray joggers and some sneakers. Like it is a very casual day, y'all. It's so hot outside too. Like, so my mood just isn't there so let me relax um i don't have anything planned for the day y'all i actually need to call my mama because she was stopping at sam's for me mm. oh y'all i'm carrying my mcm tote i'm mentioning it because you guys never see me in this tote i do carry it but <clears throat> I always feel like I'm like not vlogging when I do but yes I am carrying my lid shopper because I've just been doing a lot where I need a lot like 
anytime we go out at this point, I kind of have needed to, to have a bigger bag. So I've been in that now for the last couple of days. But let me go, y'all. I don't really have anything else. I need to um, scan my receipts into my fetch rewards. And my camera about to die. So yeah, let me get up out of here. I will see y'all if anything else happens throughout the day. Sunday you guys we are up I'm making them some um, southern style grand's biscuits hillside turkey sausage links and scrambled cheddar eggs um, and fruit Clarence is still asleep I think he was up last night playing video games I went to sleep pretty early last night after watching um, love and marriage Detroit just because I was so tired um I'd been up since early like now that Caden's school schedule is um like in effect I literally have been waking up like six o'clock in the morning every morning if not earlier so yeah so I went to sleep pretty early last night and I think Clarence was up playing video games And the kids right now, I think they're watching TV and using their tablet. I just thought I would check in. I just made my coffee too. Well, actually, I had to reheat it because I made it earlier this morning and accidentally let it get cold. Check on this oven. Yeah, so that's all we are doing at this very moment. I just thought I would check in. My hair is like blown out. That's why it's so big right now. Um, I'm thinking I may do an oil treatment at some point. Let me cut up the sausage. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Yesterday was like so slow motion. Like I said, Kaden had a, a play date from four to six. Cam, why are you hitting me? It doesn't plushie. Oh, the plushie's hitting me. Yeah. Not you. Yeah. You didn't hit mommy, right? Yeah, I'm not even hitting my hair. Okay. Whew. Anyways, um, but yeah, Kaden had a play date yesterday from... Yes! I'm sorry. Kaden just got me all the way together, y'all. He said, don't call it that. It wasn't no play date. He said, ain't no baby. He said it was just a friend coming over and we just chilled <laughs> and played our PS4 and watched TV and ran around here playing games with Cam. Um, so excuse me, child. Kaden grown now, and he said, "Don't be calling it no play date." <laughs> I'm just gonna do this sausage in the air fryer. It makes my life easier while the um biscuits go in this drawer <sighs> all right y'all let me make breakfast and like get myself kind of going i haven't like gotten myself together at all all right got the sausage on got the biscuits in the oven 
I'm gonna scramble up some eggs for them, cut up some fruit. Breakfast will be served. I will check in with you guys once the day progresses. Cam, put that pillow down. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. Just checking in real quick. It's Sunday, but I realized as I was like going through the vlog and editing that I didn't show you guys the mini stepper. Um, here it is. It just, well, not just arrived, but it arrived yesterday. And <clears throat> I'm excited about it. Basically, you're gonna hop on it. It's got resistance. You're just gonna step your little heart away. And it's gonna keep up with like the calories that you burn. I did hop on it um, and just try it out for about five minutes to see how long I could last. I lasted almost six, uh, five minutes and 32 seconds to be exact so like without having to get off so that was good but it definitely gets your heart rate pumping so if you're interested I'll be sure to leave it below I'm excited about it and I'm excited to add it to my little workout regimen hey y'all it's much later in the day I'm trying to like focus the camera but it's much later in the day I am finishing up some work I really need to like do an oil treatment to my hair. It feels a little dry, so I think I'm about to do that in a minute. You can probably hear the kids in the back. They are playing. It's Sunday. Um, I'm just enjoying a chicken Caesar salad. They just had um, beef hot dogs off the grill. Clarence grilled a little bit earlier, um, but I couldn't really film because I was working. Um, like I said, I'm finishing up now. I have like less than 30 seconds before I need to go ahead and log it out but i'm about to enjoy my salad and wrap it up with you guys it's sunday tomorrow me and my mom are going shopping so i'm probably gonna close the vlog out here and then start vlogging again tomorrow um but yeah i just hope you guys had a great weekend hopefully you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with us um we didn't have too much going on um just enjoyed the nice weather Clarence did take the kids to the park earlier too but again I was like busy and didn't have like the camera out and Clarence is not good at like vlogging y'all so sorry but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it spending this quick low-key weekend with us I will see you guys tomorrow because I'm gonna start vlogging and hopefully my ponytail will be fixed by then okay girl <laughs> all right y'all I'll see y'all in the next vlog bye